Hey there everybody, Don Evans here from WatchReport.com and today I'll be giving you an overview of the Spinnaker Vessel. So there's a couple of things I want to get out of the way with this. Uh, one, this is uh, definitely more of a fashion orientated piece, uh, more so than we normally do here on WatchReport.com. Uh, yes, I know all watches are fashion in general, uh, but I think most watch enthusiasts know what I mean when I say a more of a uh, you know, fashion piece. It is a Japanese quartz. It does have a mineral crystal. And as you can see, this is, you know, wood and stainless steel. Uh, wood watches have been popular uh, now for the past like two or three years. A lot of companies and a lot of companies that ask us if we'd like to review their watch. And uh, this is the first one uh, that I've said yes to. Uh, and I think uh, really the reason is because it, it's a combination of stainless steel and wood and, uh, you know, the way they did the dial layout and the size of the watch and everything. So specs are as follows. Uh, 44 millimeter case, 52 millimeter lug to lug or length of the case, 13 millimeters thick, 22 millimeter width in, uh, bracelet and lugs. It weighs about 150 grams. There are a couple of different variations, so you're going to want to check out the Spinnaker website. Uh, this, is, of course, is the white dial with the stainless steel and this uh, light colored wood. Your price on this is $290. Now that is the uh, full price. As you're watching this video, there's currently a sale going on, which gives you 30% off. And then Spinnaker has offered an extra 5% if you go onto the website and use the code WR5. The code is WR5. So uh, I think people are familiar with how I do this and how we do this at Watch Report. We never force you to buy a watch. We're not telling you to buy a watch. We give you the specs. We're going to give you the options on it. And, uh, you know, of course, in the full review, we will tell you what we actually think of this watch. If you like, after watching this video and reading our review, you like the watch and you feel like purchasing one, the price will come. It'll take about a good $100 off. It comes to about $198, I believe, with the extra code that gives you another 5% off of watch report, or excuse me, WR5. So that is out of the way now. If you want to do that, you can use the code and uh, save an extra 5% off the 30% that is ongoing with the sale. So this is a Japanese quartz movement. The website does not state which uh, movement is being used. I'm going to probably guess uh, that it is a Miyota quartz movement. So you can take a look here. We'll do a close-up of this dial. You can see this outer portion of the dial here has some nice texturing to it. When you check out the review, you'll see that the loom is a lot better than I expected. You have your date cut out there between the four and the five. It's a very nice stark white dial here. And you have those uh, applied numbers and markers. This is 100 meters water resistant, and it does actually have a screw down crown. Uh, something I didn't expect on a watch uh, like this. I mean, the company itself, you know, explained it to me like, hey, this is, you know, more of a, you know, a, a fashion type of piece. So I did not expect it to have a screw down crown. That's something that I uh, like very much. Take a look here at the case back. do have a flip lock clasp with the push button release so one of the things that I want to point out here is uh, okay so that you gotta have your wood bezel and it is um, you know I have no idea if these screws are functional or not I'm going to imagine that they are purely decorative and that this is probably gl uh, glued this wood insert is glued down into the bezel that would be my best guess and so now these are not solid wooden links they are actually if you could see here let me unclasp this and you could see that they are actually folded over the stainless steel center links so i'm going you know taking a look there's no screws or anything um 
the uh, watch is using uh, push pins uh, to hold the bracelet links together. I'm going to say that these are glued. Let's see if we can get a good look here. I'm going to say that these are, you know, pressed and fitted and then probably glued over to stain the steel center links. So this is not something that I want to hard use. You could see right there that there is a gap between the stainless steel and that wood center link. So this is not something I would want to put, you know, through hard use. I, I wouldn't suggest wearing this watch at the gym or anything like that. You know, if you're on the beach and you're having a casual day, uh, you know, if you are going to go boating and you're yachting and just having a, you know, light casual day, uh, you know, nice dinner out, just want to wear something a little different, I think this would be a, a good watch for all of that. Um, but uh, I wouldn't wear this if you're going to go mountain biking or hiking or any kind of, you know, activity, you know, extreme activity. Um, I'm not saying that it couldn't hold up to it. I'm just not saying I don't, I don't believe that it would. Um, of course, anything is possible. So, like I said, well, wait, 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 wait. What am I doing? Let me put this on the wrist. As you can see, I have not sized this yet for this overview. But I want to give it to a look at my seven on my seven and a half inch wrist. Man, I'm getting tongue tied here for some reason. <laughs> but uh, there's a look on my seven and a half inch wrist. Okay. So I'm gonna say I'm probably gonna have to take out about mm, three links. So if you have a wrist bigger than mine, just want to give you an idea of where you're gonna be at. I'm gonna say this should easily fit up to an eight inch wrist out of the box. So if you want to see more, you wanted to, uh, you know, know my true feelings on this watch, go to the link right up here, okay, in the upper right-hand part of the screen. It'll take you over to the review on watchreport.com. This has been a look at the Spinnaker Vessel. As always, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Leave a like or a comment here on YouTube. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you are not. You will never miss another overview. This has been Don Evans. For watchreport.com, giving a look at the Spinnaker vessel. Thank you very much.